Hello Lola's. So welcome back to my channel guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can follow me and Bryson. Oh, that's his name, Bryson. Um, click the subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you share it with all your friends and make sure you drop down in the description bar and click the link for the chatterbox so that you can join and be a member. If you see the people in the comment sections with little icons by their names, those are members of the chatterbox. And there's different different levels. Um, well, it's all one level because I wanted to keep it at the lowest amount, which is $1.99. You do have to be 18 years old and older or older to join. But I have mine set to levels as in the new members start out with the blue logo with the baby in the arms. Then you become the baby my um, logo that was actually done by Dolly X3 I think I have to but anyway um with the little sippy cup spilling milk she's the baby version of the spilling the tea logo and then then I have uh, the spilling the tea logo is the members that's been there for over six months maybe like a year or so um, so anyway that's you know that's what you'll see but this is you guys have met him this is little Bryson which is the Alex sculpt by Claire Teller um, Claire Teller dolls and he was painted by myself and he's just born so as you can see I'm still just getting home so I have not got out of my hospital gown because it just happened so unexpectedly because I didn't know that, you know, it, I just didn't know. And there's a full storyline going on in the chatterbox in regards to this baby. But um, I wanted to give him a bottle. But he, um, I'll give y'all a quick rundown version. We ended up swap, we, I ended up getting the wrong baby and the um i was trying to breastfeed the other baby but they wouldn't breastfeed and then i found out that i believe that the other person who had bryson actually was breastfeeding him and so he had a reaction to her milk i don't know maybe it just because it was different and so he got little baby acne but it's okay the doctor said it will probably clear up but i'm going to give him a little bit so i am now pumping and just giving him his milk in his bottle so yeah so i'm gonna let him have that while we just chat a little bit um so you know, a lot of people were asking, like, wow, you know, you painted him pretty fast and stuff like that. And, you know, I did. I was really challenging myself to, you know, if I can do the partials. And, oh, little man. And um, so I, I was up every two hours every two to three hours painting for the last couple days so i'm sleep deprived and <laughs> um so i'm really literally exhausted like i gave birth to a baby and i was i was explaining to people that the thing about silicone that i think is the most interesting it's rewarding in the end when it comes out right and but it's also very um emotional like it's like it's a it's almost like giving birth to a real baby not per se because that is you know definitely a whole another type of traumatic experience there but when i say that i mean as far as not knowing what the baby's going to look like you really no matter how much you paint on that baby i don't know how many times you try to gauge the skin tone when you finish painting them and you match them and you wash that mat off, you don't know 
how much lighter that baby's gonna get is gonna be a little bit lighter or way lighter so you really don't get to know really you don't really get to meet that baby until the end and so I think also that's another reason why I've decided not to really share many work in progress pictures while I'm painting because the babies change so much after matting like they're they're not the same baby seem like almost oh so we're gonna so what are you waiting so we're gonna try to get this baby burpity burp yes 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 you gonna burp <laughs> Yeah, but I did want him to be really, really light. And as you can see, he's very fair-skinned. And I really, that was the my intent when I painted him. I wanted him to be a very fair-skinned baby. I wanted to try my hands at several different things. But I know the camera doesn't pick up every little thing on him. I need to get him in his first little outfit of the day, but I haven't, haven't, um, haven't did that. But I really want, I wanted to unwrap him so you guys can kind of get an idea of his size. But I really wanted to try a couple things. I didn't want him to be my same typical skin tones and stuff. And I, I know I do different skin tones, but I just wanted to try something very different with him and so look at his little his little foot <laughs> um but yeah so i wanted to try something different so i can't wait until he gets his um his hair so i'm gonna i'm gonna root him but i i have to finish up working on the silicone prototype genesis and I have Jolie by Sylvia Manon that I'm working on as well. And I really want to get them like at least, you know, almost done before I start rooting on him. And what I will do is I'll paint. I'll paint for the first half of the day and then in the evenings, you know, when I'm, I can unwind and just watch TV, I will, I will sit and just root him. And I got a style picked out. I got the hair color picked out. And I'm hoping that I'm able to achieve that as well. And then you guys will get to meet him all over again as the new and approved Bryson. <laughs> I was going to say Braxton. Bryson. Um, but yeah, I, it's just, I haven't had a cloth body since um, Lily. Uh, which was the Gabby Gale by Claire Teller and it's just I don't know like it's it's I forgot how great it feels to have the cloth bodies I mean it's like the the posing is like endless with them the cuddleness and everything like I weighted him really good and guys I, I haven't forgot but he has not been on the scale just yet but I am going to put him on the scale for you guys so we can know how much exactly he weighs. I'm still going to go with six, at least six pounds. Someone else guessed six pounds, seven ounces. I've had different, somebody guess seven pounds. Um, he's, he's, if you know anything about me and my weight and my babies, I weight them fairly heavy. So he is not, he's not like a lifting weights or anything, but he has a very realistic weight to him. Um... But yeah, so he has he has a good weight. So I I I know he has to at least be six pounds. I would be really surprised if he's anything less than six pounds. Um, I do have sunlight, natural light coming in. So and then I have the lights on. So he is definitely that milky color, milky white color, right in natural light. Um, when he's in low light, he's a little bit more darker. He has a little bit more yellow to him and more of a a tan to him. But still, he's a light baby. He's a very light complexion baby. And so, just something I wanted to, to experience in my collection. And his vein, and he has 
not a whole lot of veining um but he he does have quite a bit and it's, it doesn't show up like he ha in you know key places he has the veining and it just like I said it just doesn't necessarily come across and I love his little his little tummy of course he got his little belly button so yeah so he he say I'm I'm a good little baby I just and it's so funny because it really feels you know how we always be like oh they have a squishy tummy it's like he has a squishy tummy <laughs> but really it's it's the it's just the way that the the plate sits and when you squish it it feels like you're actually his tummy is, is squishy I don't know it's just you have to hard to explain but I don't know what what colors is gonna look good on him because he's fairly light like I think he's actually eh, I don't know but I I'm I'm thinking he's gonna look in soft good in soft blues and stuff like that I've really gotta figure out what he's gonna wear and when it's gonna be weird seeing him in clothes because I haven't put him on any clothes and I just been enjoying him you know like this and I also one of the other things I wanted to point out that I like about him is his neck like I love how his neck is to where I mean unless you know that he's a cloth body he really doesn't look like a cloth body like his pictures everything you really can you know pull it off so yeah his little arms I just haven't had time to dress him his little hands his little hands his little hands say hey aunties say hello say hello yeah so I made his little bottle so that was one of my my this is one of my bottles and give him some milky milk you gotta have milk milk so it's just you know the fun part of having the new babies oh my god and I'm looking at Phoebe Phoebe's right next right over here and I'm like man if I photograph I have to photograph them together I wonder how they photograph together because that is that's going to be funny to see him next to Phoebe. That would be a good picture, right? Guys, let me guys let me know if you guys want to see like a day in a life or what type of videos you would like to see with him. Um, did you guys enjoy a change in video? Um, next, what do you guys want to see next with him? And I'll try to get that as the next video. Um, I know you guys are wanting to see Miss Andy. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. But you know, Miss Andy is a lot of work. <laughs> when Miss Andy comes in the house, that's a lot of work for me. Cause, and you know, she's off the chain. But anyway, I did tip his nails, but I guess because he's so light and I didn't make them like, like a French manicure light, you can barely see the contrast. So. Either I needed to add more pink on his nail beds or I just should have made the tips a little bit lighter. I don't know. But I like it the way he is and I am not going to change anything with him. Um, if I do anything later, it might be touch a few shine spots here or there. But I don't know. Maybe I'll use some of that, the matting powder that you can do after the fact. I hate having to touch up and stuff. So I, I think... He, he is how he is going to be. Um, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed him. Hope you love his name. I decided to go with Bryson because I think he looks like a Bryson. And um, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. You'll see plenty little photos coming up of this guy and other babies. And I got something paint or something up under my nails but anyway again thanks for watching and stay tuned stay tuned for more bye guys oh I just might be painting another one in the future 
just just putting it out there i may be painting another one in the future if i get a hold of another one maybe i'll paint never mind i'm not gonna talk about it but i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye bye